morning, everybody, and welcome back to the 50-day challenge. Today, we are talking to Jared Ricketts again. Uh, you guys all know him. Uh, fantastic artist, buys albums, um, so you can support him as a singer, uh, buy his clothing, so you can support him as a designer. Um, he is just a phenomenal human being. And thank you, Jared, for joining us again on this Celebrity 50 Day Challenge. And I'd like to just invite the public and thank them for joining us as well. Today, we're going to talk about your why. So I'm going to have a brief discussion with Jared. Then I'd like to show you a little video and then we'll talk a little bit about your why. So today we want to say, Jared, in order for you to become a property investor, one of the key ingredients, in fact, probably the, most, uh, the second most important ingredient, other than taking action, which we'll get to later in this uh, series, is the why. If you are not motivated, if you are not the person that gets up every morning, looks yourself in the mirror and says, I am pushing forward on this agenda, on this um, thing that I want to do in terms of building a property portfolio, you are the only one that's going to motivate yourself. Nobody else is going to do that for you. Everybody else, including possibly even your spouse, your friends, your family, will try and get you to not do this thing because they think it is dangerous. They think it is financially it's going to ruin you um, because they don't understand what property investment is all about and how you can build legacy. So for you, you need to find your own why. You need to find that thing deep inside you that's going to motivate you every single day to be able to carry on and push forward on this development thing that you want to do in building a property portfolio for yourself. So through this 50 day challenge, we are going to show you how, as we have spoken about, um, but for you to be motivated and to continue to be motivated, you need to find your own why. So the very first question I'm going to ask you is exactly that. Jared, why are you doing this 50 day challenge, first of all? And secondly, why are you doing it in regard to property? Well, hello, everybody. Um, hello, Nigel. Um, I'm extremely excited to be a part of the EDPFA um, movement, the Celebrity Challenge, because, you know, property is a conversation I was never privy to. You know, I come from a community that doesn't really understand for the longest time how to make property become a, a real investment that works for you. And, and it's all about acquiring knowledge for me. Uh, we know when you know better, you can do better. And, um, and being an artist, you know, my income fluctuates all the time. And so I really want to set myself up for my retirement. I want to make sure that I'm doing everything I can within the property space the right way so that I'm able to see a return that helps me be settled. You know, when it comes to an, a time in my life where I feel I can retire now, you know, I've, I've, I've got the finances, I've got properties working for me. And so um, it's about acquiring knowledge. It's about investing in the right way, getting all the right knowledge. Um, and I'm excited to see what EDPF Academy is going to be teaching me. And um, as I've mentioned, just, just to break that narrative, you know, that, that especially for artists, that we can't make this sustainable. You know, we can. It's about using your money wisely and understanding how to make your finances work that at the end of the day, um, you have all your investments in place. And so for me, that's, that's important to learn and to, to be able to set myself up, not just for myself, but for my family, my children and their children so that we can, we can create generational wealth, you know? That is an absolutely fantastic why. Jared, um, I personally have the same why that I will build this portfolio for myself to give uh, not only a retirement opportunity for myself, but also to leave a legacy for my kids. Um, even though they are adults, I obviously like to support them once I uh, move on uh, to the next life that I will leave something behind for them as, as my kids uh, and to build that legacy. So, Janet, thank you for that. The, the next question that I want to ask you is, when you wake up in the morning, what is that thing, that one thing that drives you to go to the next level? Wow. I mean, I've, I've been self-employed for a decade. 
and um, I constantly have to make sure that I'm motivated. I'm motivated by the idea that, we, you know, with each and every day that passes, we have an opportunity to get closer to reaching our full potential. Um, I believe we are more than one specific thing. And in my life, I'd like to peel away and uncover all the things that I feel are possible for me to do within, that's within my reach. And also, I made a promise to myself. You know, I'm from the Cape Flats. And I made a promise to myself, my younger self, that I'm going to create a better life for myself. And so I hold myself accountable to that promise. You know, when I look at myself in the mirror every day, I remind myself that I was a child looking in the mirror, telling myself, I'm going to make a better life for myself. And um, as I've mentioned before, for my children and their children, it's about breaking this narrative that you stay where you are, you can't move forward, you can't create wealth, it's only for certain demographics. No, we can all do this. That's absolutely amazing. I too come from the Cape Flats, Bridgetown in Athlone. So I understand exactly where you're coming from. We both Athlone guys, come on. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> so, so I understand exactly where you're coming from. And I'm very glad that uh, to find somebody that um, it, it comes from the same historical background that I do, um, where uh, we, we have not been taught these things. Our parents didn't understand. My mother, um, when she was a shop steward at uh, Rex Reform, um, she was in the clothing industry and she, yeah. uh, she earned a pittance. So she had to, I mean, she had to pay a very small rental to the city council uh, in the property that she lived in and we lived in as children um, in, uh, um, in Bridgetown. And mm -hmm. eventually the city gave them the opportunity, gave uh, people like herself the opportunity to buy their property. And my mother bought that property for 6,000 land back in the day. The what? <laughs> when, when, we, when she passed away and she left the property to us and kids, she then, uh, we then sold the property for 600,000 land. Uh, oh, which was about, I think about 12 years after she had bought the property. So that in itself shows you the value proposition where property is concerned. She was able to buy a property for 6,000 and eventually we sold it for 600,000. That is a massive, massive, massive. That is a, almost a, that is what 10,000 percent increase. I don't even know what the number That's is. That's music to the ears. It's you, that's you want. Yeah. So property has that potential. And I'm very glad that you, Jared, have chosen property to be the thing that you want to build legacy with. So in order to motivate ourselves, I have chosen a little video which um, is not my own video. It, okay. I, have no, I cannot claim credit for this video. I can only give Eric Thomas the credit for this video. Um, the link there you'll see is uh, on mm -hmm. YouTube. Um, the link is there that you can click on, but we will show you the video now. Um, the video is called His Motivation by Eric okay. Thomas. So if you missed it, you can go and Google it or, or go to YouTube. And just put in his motivation by Eric Thomas, and you can watch the video there. But for me, this video is highly inspirational, and it helps me on a very regular basis when I'm feeling demotivated, when I'm feeling a little bit down. And I will also encourage Jared, as well as in Tabulin, to watch this video whenever they feel down, because I'm telling you, it motivates me to know it. It's only seven or eight minutes long. Um, so it's not a lot of time out of your day, but if you feel demotivated, go and watch this video. But let me show you this video right now. Let me cool. just switch over to YouTube and you guys can watch at your leisure and we'll be back after the video is done. Brilliant. Okay. How many people in your immediate environment, those people who are in your sacred circle, represent people who are on the same mission as you? Or do you have a bunch of people on your list who are not on the same mission as you and those individuals are pulling you down? ET, how do you do what you do? I have cut off the people who are not on the same mission with me and yes, they are very upset and yes, they said some nasty things about me, but guess what, I cut them off anyway and I've surrounded myself with people who have the same values, who have the same mindset and people who want to accomplish what I want to accomplish. It says every day in Africa, in the safari, a lion wakes up. 
every single day in a safari, a lion wakes up, right? And, and every single day in a safari, a gazelle wakes up. I love it. I love it. It says, though, here's, here's, here's what's funny. It says that if you wake up and you're a gazelle, you realize if you're going to survive as a gazelle, if you're going to survive, you must outrun the slowest gazelle. Right? In your mind, you're thinking you got to outrun the fastest lion. That's not the truth. You just got to stay ahead of the slow gazelle. That's it. Right? So every single day when you wake up, whatever it is that you do professionally, you better make sure you're not in the back of the pack. You better be as close to the front, if not up front, as possible. Because every single day when the lion wakes up, it's only one thing on that lion's mind. And that is catching the gazelle that couldn't keep up. What the gazelle realizes is that the way it operates, that the way it performs, that the way it goes about its daily business is contingent upon life and death. That if that gazelle does not do what he or she is supposed to do, it will be eaten by a lion. The story says that even if you are a lion, even if you are a lion and you have the advantage, that when the sun comes up, if you are a gazelle or a lion, you better get to running. Because if you are a lion, a gazelle is still not going to come to you and say, just eat me. No, you better hear what I'm saying. Because there's those of you in this room, you're past the mark that Glenn is talking about. And somewhere in your mind, you're thinking they're not talking to me, they're talking to somebody else. And no, you have to understand, I don't care how deep you are as a lion. When you wake up, nothing is going to come to you. Nobody's going to give you anything. They're still not giving stuff to ET. I still have to work. I still have to fly 20 hours to get to Australia. I still have to go to London. I still have to do free stuff in Detroit. I still have to drive. I'm a lion. And when the sun comes up, I still have to get to run it. Here's the challenge though. I asked myself when I read that story, that's what's on the surface. I read it and I started asking myself, E.T., what's the difference between a gazelle and what's the difference between a lion? What's the difference? I know that they're wired differently, but what's the difference? And what I discovered is that the gazelle is running from something. The gazelle is running from something. So as long as the lion is chasing the gazelle, the gazelle is running. But as soon as the lion stops chasing the gazelle, it stops. And that's a lot of you in this room. That's a lot of you in this room. You will run, you'll do what you're supposed to do. As long as you're getting pushed, as long as you're getting motivated, as long as somebody is encouraging you, as long as somebody's coaching you, as long as somebody's pushing you, as long as somebody's prodding you, you're doing what you're supposed to do. As long as somebody's calling you, as long as someone is enticing you, as long as somebody's giving you rewards, you're moving. But as soon as that stops, you stop. And I asked myself the question about the lion. And I said, the lion is not running to be rewarded. The lion is running to eat. Every single day, the lion is running to eat because the lion realizes when he kills the gazelle, not only does he eat the gazelle, but he brings it back home. You've got to ask yourself, what's your why? What motivates you? What pushes you? What drives you? And if that thing is eternal, if nobody has to call you, if nobody has to prod you, if nobody has to reward you, if nobody has to give you anything, if you are self-motivated and self-regulated, you can have it, you can be it, you can do it. I need you to do me a favor, when you leave, I, I need you to be honest with yourself, I need you to be transparent, I need you to say in my, in my dreams I'm beast mode. Beast mode, my business plan, beast mode. My income that I have for myself, beast mode. What I want to do for my children, beast mode. In the university, the scores I need, beast mode. I've got to go into beast mode to get it. And I want you to look at your time. And you look at your time and say, ah, gazelle. That's a gazelle right there. You look at your habits, gazelle. And as long as your habits are gazelle, but your mindset, is beast you'll never see it listen to me i would prefer that you have a gazelle literally i would prefer that your 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 thought pattern your, your dreams are gazelles like I, I would prefer income gazelle 
but what you did every day was beast. And without you saying a word, without you telling the world, if you if gazelle tattoo, but you act like a beast, that's what you would get. You would get more than what you bargained for because that's what happened to us. All we were doing was videos. We never knew that we would be a global company. We never knew we would be a multi-million dollar company. We never knew we'd have stores in Australia. We never knew we would sell our books in Africa. We never knew our stuff would be in England. We never knew. So we were these small kids doing small stuff. But when you looked at our schedule and our activities, beast mode. You get information from us, it's three o'clock in the morning in the States, beast mode. Nobody else is doing it at three o'clock in the morning, beast mode. Everything we do, every Monday, even though it's free, beast mode. So I need you to be a huge favor. I need you to be, look, and you owe this to yourself. Beast mode, so those who were here yesterday, I don't want you to say anything, all right? I'm gonna ask this question again, and we're gonna talk about what you have to do so when that ball drops, you are exactly where you wanna be because the greatest feeling in the world, guys, the greatest feeling in the world is execution. The greatest feeling in the world is doing what you said you were going to do. There's no greater feeling in the world. All right, fantastic. Isn't that so, so very motivational? I, I feel inspired. I feel like I want to go and conquer the world. So guys, do yes. you ever, ever feel demotivated, go and watch that video. That's what I'm all like. I can say after Sorry. that, Jared, all I can say after that, because really, you know, after a guy like Eric Thomas, I have no words. But every day, I personally get up in the morning, I have a few things that I do in my business. In the academy, in the opportunities that we've created for our students through the crowdfunding, through the uh, stock sale, as well as our own uh, prop coin, which is a uh, cryptocurrency, but more importantly, our incubator, mm -hmm. we have given opportunity for students to learn about property and give them opportunities to raise capital as well as be motivated, as well as be supported by all of the different companies the banks and the other institutions that are supporting this program. I get motivated every single morning because I have something that I'm trying to build. Through the EDPF, we want to be able to support students. We want to be able to support you guys, Jared and Tabaleng, all the celebrities that are joining this program. Um, but most importantly, to the public out there, to support you guys in terms of building your legacy in terms of building your property portfolio and that's really what this is all about and that's what motivates me every morning when i wake up janet yeah. thank you for sharing what motivates you um and i just want to ask you after watching that video where to from here what do you think is going to now take you to that next level look for me watching that video just got me thinking about my why you know on a deeper level and understanding that that this whole thing is greater than just me purchasing a property, you know, that's the byproduct. The most important thing is is getting to the space of understanding that it's all attainable, it's all achievable, you know. It's about surrounding yourself with the right people, you know, cutting off what not what doesn't serve you anymore. And and I think these are deep lessons that I've taken away from the video now. And it's really getting me excited about this process. It's, you know, I still have a little bit of fear, I must admit, it's, it's because it's the unknown. But, but I think when you, that's when you're really growing and that's when you're stretching yourself. It's when you step into the unknown. And so I encourage you, everyone watching as well, to not be afraid. We're only afraid because we don't have the knowledge, you know. You only fear something when you don't know enough about it. And so uh, this program is going to enlighten us all. I, for one, can't wait to be empowered through building a property property portfolio, sorry. And um, just just seeing where this takes me. I, it's, it's, it's a great privilege to now, to now be at uh, to have a seat at this table to, to have these kind of discussions. So, so Nigel, I just want to thank you once again for allowing me to be a part of this. And um, I'm also urging everyone to, to get involved and to do this for themselves. 
Fantastic. Jared, that is awesome. I'm glad that you spoke about fear because that is one of the topics we're going to cover over this 50 day challenge. Fear is the thing that stops us from taking action. And action is the most important thing within the property portfolio game. And if you do not take action, if you do not motivate yourself, and if you do not overcome that fear, you will never be able to build a property portfolio because it is the fear that keeps us from taking action. Jared, thank you very much for the session. We'll see everybody again tomorrow when we're going to talk about the how. So great stuff. We'll see you later. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers.